Hello, welcome to another movie review of mine. Afterwards, please take the chance to visit my website, www.thescenviewer.com, where I have thousands of movie reviews, 60 plus lists of best films per genre, yearly rank lists with top 5 per category going back to 1914, and dozens of miscellaneous lists, including TV shows, actor profiles, and top 10 films per actor. The link could be found below. Today we are reviewing top 10 best performances by actors, starting with Val Kilmer, first movie Top Gun 1986. Top Gun is one of those films many people don't either understand or appreciate, but it's actually damn good. Tom Cruise is in his full-blown movie star mode, never being more blockbuster material than he was as Maverick with the best looking bomber jacket of all time. What an outstanding cast. Kelly McGills, Anthony Edwards, Meg Ryan, Val Kilmer, James Tolkien, Tom Secret, Michael Ironside, and Rick Rosovich. Next movie is Kill Me Again, 1989. Kill Me Again was a box office failure that it remains an obscure title to this day. Starring with his then wife, no surprise at the divorce, Val Kilmer was once upon a time an accomplished actor until the island of Dr. Moreau happened. It is a new New York treat with plenty of fun double crosses. I like the construction of the story and the locations used, especially in the desert. Number 8, Thunderheart 1992. Despite being Latin with American Indian cliches, Thunderheart isn't bad for a murder mystery picture. The last 30 minutes clears up the mystery, but the confusing plot is hard to shake off. No matter, Val Kilmer is terrific and Graham Greene makes for an interesting guide, primarily shot on location in the Badlands National Park and Pine Ridge Reservation, South Dakota. The cinematography is top notch. Number 7, Heat, 1995. Clocking at 170 minutes, Heat goes fast and is a well-paced drama action picture going back and forth among the plan, real-life situations, and emotions of the characters. The supporting players are perfect. I find Val Kilmer's role the most interesting because of his minimalist stance, which works very well. Number 6, The Salton Sea, 2002. Val Kilmer comes back from the dead to show what a superlative actor he is. At first, it appeared pretentious with him playing the trumpet. Slowly, the plot started to develop in terms of coherence with Val Kilmer taking over the reins when I thought he was simply out of it. Hence, it is a strong performance by Val Kilmer despite the ugly-looking tattoos on his back and arms. Number 5, Spartan 2004. That's interesting, Val Kilmer stars in a film which is written and directed by David Mamet, Spartan. The story isn't bad for the most part, but I saw Taken first, which actually came out four years later. At least Val Kilmer gives a good performance. At this point, I can tell he had grown a lot as an actor. Number 4, At First Sight, 1999. Had At First Sight seen been filmed during the 50s, it would have been a staged play, thanks to Val Comer and Mira Sorvino. It never happens for a minute. Their realistic acting is the best thing going. A top-notch actor, he certainly understands the requirements and plays his role to perfection. Mira Sorvino is a natural. They make the movie their own, which is sometimes sensual. Number 3, The Ghost in the Darkness, 1996. Compelling stories make great movies, and that's the case for The Ghost in the Darkness. Val Kilmer is an underappreciated actor, and when given a difficult role, he manages to rise to the occasion. It doesn't hurt him to have terrific-looking hair. All the kidding aside, Val Kilmer carries the show very well, despite having been recently pre-leaguered during the filming of the island of Dr. Monroe, which is impressive if I think about it. Tombstone 1993 I often read that Tombstone, which was supported by rave reviews of Val Kilmer's performance, was one of the best, two best western movies made during the 90s, which the other being Unforgiven, 
and after finally reviewing it, I could see why. Unfortunately, stubbed for an Oscar nomination, Val Kilmer takes the top acting honors and has the best lines of any character. Number 1, The Doors, 1991. Val Kilmer didn't just play Jim Morrison. He became Jim Morrison. Nobody went after Val Kilmer. He did that all himself. Going so far to memorize the songs and mimic Jim Morrison in every possible way. Sending his music demo to Oliver Stone and never breaking out of his character for a solid year. If anyone thought Val Kilmer gave the performance of his career in Tombstone, it isn't even half as brilliant as he was in The Doors. Hence, he got robbed of an Oscar. Thank you so much for coming in to see my reviews. Please visit my website at www.thescenviewer.com.